गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉज ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट क्लोनिंग वेक्टर एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो व्हाट इज अ क्लोनिंग वेक्टर अ क्लोनिंग वेक्टर इज अ डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल दैट इज यूज्ड टू कैरी अ फॉरेन डीएनए इनटू द होस्ट सेल uh suppose you want to insert a gene x from an individual to another individual so first you need to insert that gene in a cloning vector now we can call this vector as recombinant then you can insert the recombinant vector into the host cell and this process is called transformation and it has the ability to self replicate into the host cell the target dna is inserted into the specific site of the vector and ligated by the dna ligase the vector is then inserted into the host cell for replication now vectors can be a plasmid from the bacterium a cell from the higher organism or dna from virus here we are specifically talking about the plasmid vector so let's see the features of a plasmid vector or cloning vector so basically it should possess an origin of replication ori so that it can self replicate inside the host cell it should possess mcs multiple cloning site to insert the target dna so this mcs is a site which can be cut by various restriction enzymes to insert the foreign dna next it should possess a selectable marker uh, to facilitate the screening of transformants so selectable markers are generally antibiotic resistance genes so why do we use them after the transformation process you have to ensure that the host cell in this case the bacterial cell has taken up the recombinant vector since the chance of not taking the vector is also high in that case we have to screen the cells to screen the bacterial cells generally antibiotic resistance genes are used as selectable markers suppose the host cell is a bacteria and it cannot survive in a particular antibiotic containing media so if the cell is not transformed that means the bacteria didn't take up the recombinant vector it won't survive in that antibiotic environment but if it is transformed that means the bacteria took up the recombinant vector it will survive in the antibiotic environment why since it has antibiotic resistance gene in this way we can select transformants and eliminate non transformants it should be small so that it can easily integrate into the host cell and it should be able to insert a large segment of foreign dna uh the last thing i want to mention about the cloning vector that cloning vectors are used to store foreign dna and provide a backbone for dna inserts to be propagated in bacteria however cloning vectors can't allow for the translation and transcription of genes into functional proteins for that we use expression vector that i will explain next day so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video